I'm real comfortable. Uh, I know I know all the defenses. Uh, like I said, everybody looks up to me to, to teach them to teach them new things and new schemes and stuff. So I'm very comfortable. What do you have to change now that you're the guy out there along with the uh, Work ethic. Like last year, I took a lot of plays off, running to the ball and stuff. So I'm very uh, emphasis on that right now. What did the coaches say about it? Uh, Coach Eater, he's a, he's a big guy on that uh, running to the ball. He he reminds me every day. He's like, oh, you're doing a good job, so don't take a day off. Can you can you get an identity in the spring, or is that something that just you know builds in the fall? You no, you get... no, you start it now. I mean, you, you figure out what kind of team you're going to be right now. It started back in January when, when they got with Mickey in the weight room, and, and Mickey does a great job with them in the weight room, and then. Uh, uh, off season and winter conditioning, and then when they get out here, so it's just you know it's a building process until we get to fall, and then uh, if you try to build it in fall camp, you, you have no chance. We, we talk about the time that the clock that goes off two and a half seconds. You need to get back there and bother the quarterback. It's not all going to be sacks, but disrupt, collapse the pocket, tip a pass, disrupt the throw, get him out of the pocket, and that's what we're striving for. We've led the SEC the last two years in sacks, but that's also tip passes, uh, pressures bothering that quarterback, we're getting him uncomfortable back there. We don't want him comfortable back there throwing the ball. It's coming. Zach, where was Carl? See? Uh, Carl was not here today. Was not here today. Any, anything you can? Not right now. Not right now. I'll let, uh, I'll, uh, when I find out some more information, I'll let you know. Mm -hmm. some in the backfield. Yeah, well, he's fast. He's a fast guy. We got to use that speed, you know. He's a fast guy, and uh, you know, we try wanted to get him on the edge and see what he can do. And it's a whole lot different deal when you're carrying that ball out there with the speed around here. And we had to find out if he could do that, you know. And that's what days like this are for. Find out which young guys can play, hand him the ball, and all our dreams, goals, and aspirations are right in his hand. Let's see what he does with that. You know? What's the focus today to run the football? Obviously, I mean, <laughs> ran it a hundred times. I mean, don't just come out and a little say, bit. Hey, guys, we got to run bit. the ball better. Was Absolutely, that? we had to get out here and establish a demeanor in the office line and demeanor with the running backs, you know, uh, getting everybody playing behind their pads and what better way just to go ahead and script a whole bunch of run plays to get that, that mindset right. Okay, he'll, he'll, he'll definitely return. You're just taking it easy with him. No, you know, it's, uh, yeah, we're doing it the right way. You know, uh, when, a, when a doctor says he's good to go, he'll be out there. I know he's chomping at the bit ready to get back out here, so it's all on the doctors and when they clear him, uh, we're going to get a healthy moody out there. How about the, the two guys that were the slot guys, the Patton and uh, Clark that jumped back there? Well, you know, they're, they're two young freshman guys that we're trying to find out a little bit about. And, you know, uh, we had a little run emphasis going on out here. And, you know, you know, we had to find a way to get those guys the ball in their hands. So we put them back there on a couple of, you know, plays that we felt that they could run. And i tell you what, they showed some, some, some good sight, you know, some good bursts, uh, some good flashes and some good things, you know. So you never know. I may have two more running backs when it's all said. <laughs> That's a joke, by the way.